hope this video will be a follow-on link in the description to the Fibonacci spiral but this one uh, will be doing a focus on the Lucas number spiral and well the, there's lovely connections between the Fibonacci and the Lucas spiral so previous episode I drew this Fibonacci spiral uh, interesting to note is that the ratio between the Fibonacci numbers gets closer and closer to phi as we go along so there's some nice arithmetic connections to the Fibonacci numbers but well because of the nature of the growth of both of these numbers the phi ratio will eventually emerge from there uh, here we see uh, well the Lucas numbers firstly how the Lucas numbers are uh, well it's not surprising that phi should be built into them it's a very nice connection especially in multi in the literally the dimension into their position so 123 being the tenth Lucas number and phi to the tenth plus um, one over phi to the, again it's just uh, lovely connections but if, if you add any if you add the second Fibonacci so uh, the first plus the third Fibonacci will give you a Lucas number etc lovely connection also worth noting how the Fibonacci numbers are so lovely in describing the relationship between the great pyramids of Egypt not just the great pyramid but the, the greatest pyramids in Egypt as so, well the, these the Fibonacci to begin with is just a elegant point of connections between them but so is the Lucas numbers and so for instance the great pyramid 7 high to 11 wide this is also the Maidum pyramid and how the Fibonacci and the Lucas numbers uh, connect but especially the the phi ratio which emerges from them so the Fibonacci spiral the Fibonacci numbers and as we divide the larger by its smaller neighbor it gets closer and closer to this phi ratio well the same happens in the Lucas numbers and described the Lucas spiral as well so here we see in the yellow the Fibonacci numbers listed and just to the right of them the ratio between them and how it gets closer and closer and closer to 1.618033938 etc the uh, perfect description of phi it actually never gets there because it creates a wave but that's something else but okay, well if we do the same so on the green column we see the Lucas numbers and the ratio so they begin differently but very soon they begin to come back to this very same very lovely number 1.618033938 okay so we're going to draw the Lucas spiral we see the similar similarity to the Fibonacci spiral and once more we'll be drawing it with the Vesica Pisces a 2 to 3 ratio as the basis okay so we'll just begin with listing the Lucas and the Fibonacci numbers so Fibonacci numbers 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 so 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 etc builds Lucas would begin exactly the same way but we begin with a 3 because if we begin with a 2 we'd get a, a repeat of the Fibonacci number so the Lucas begins with the next number up that's 3 1 3 4 7 11 so 1 plus 3 is 4 3 plus 4 is 7 uh, 4 plus 7 is 11 that's the Fibonacci numbers and so now we'll draw a Fibonacci spiral and we'll do it using the Vesica um, once again so to begin with the uh, two circles uh, the first circle sorry the second circle with its center on the edge of of the first this creates a two to three ratio and just with some you know, simple marks using the compass measures we can create this two to three rectangle which will be uh, an important part of the construction just like in the Fibonacci spiral uh, you know it's, we begin with rectangles and it's a spiral but it's also enclosed by a rectangle which gives it those ratios as well so just like with uh, Fibonacci the 2 to 3 uh, this time we're going to do the Lucas and we're going to begin with a 1 to 3 ratio so this rectangle we're just going to you know, cut it in half uh, down um, the long edge and therefore now create a one to three rectangle and use exactly the same process where we're just going to then add a quarter circle um, or using a quarter circle or adding a square to the long edge of this uh, one to three rectangle which will be uh, highlighted in a moment so one to three then we add a square of three by three so therefore it becomes a three by four because 
three plus one is is four. But also again, it's if you use this quarter circle um, method. So now I find the long edge of of this. The be we, gin we begin with a one to three rectangle. I set my compass to the long edge and draw a quarter circle. It's a nice aspect of this of both the Fibonacci or the Luca spirals is that it's a series of quarter circles being added to the long edge but it creates a spiral that looks like a spiral it doesn't look you know like a series of awkward quarter circles added onto one another at that rate of growth it seems organic and that's why well f you know so, uh, why it appears so much in nature both the, the Fibonacci spiral and the Luca spiral or Fibonacci and Lucas numbers appear over and over because it's like it's a natural rate of growth you, you you know you grow one unit and then that you know you have a longer edge and then you grow by that unit again so you add the previous to the next and it just well it's it's just the way nature works that's why this these type of spirals whether it's in uh, sunflowers hurricanes uh, well, you pretty much you name it it's it's one it's a constant it really it, you know just like phi or pi and uh, this rate of growth which will eventually approximate phi or very close well again it's just built it's just a lovely thing it's built into nature it's the way that you know snails uh, shells you know flowers uh, even the way that leaves will grow in relation at the angle to one another is is built around this same spiraling system it's this rate of growth it's, it's yeah it's this nature it's the na it's the way that nature wants to do things and that's why it's so important that's also why it's embedded in so much of ancient architecture so now we've started to develop this spiral so we, be we began with a one to three and then we built a three to four now we have a four to seven so just like the lucas numbers one three four seven so now we're going to add 7 to the rectangle. So we're going to add 7 to 4. So the rectangle, the spiral we see there is at a 4 to 7 ratio. So now we add 7 and that will add that to 4. To the Now we have a 7 to 11 ratio. And you can even see it looks, it's already beginning to look like a snail. It's already beginning to look like a hurricane or a seashell um, or the spiral of the seeds in in flowers such as uh, the sunflower and well but this is also important because it describes the idealized measures of the Great Pyramid which is 7 to 11 so we have a rectangle that's 7 high and that's 11 wide so all you're going to do is bisect it across the long edge draw your points together and you have the Great Pyramid okay so the final step is just to draw the rectangle in in, in closing this 7 to 11 um, and then we bisect it along the long edge and so we there you know just from the top in the middle down to each corner we have a 7 11 ratio that's the uh, the cross section of the great pyramid or the pyramid of um, Maya Dum as well and that will lead to well some beautiful connections related at phi and pi approximations uh, for instance 11 over 7 I've got the equal sign I should have the equals with that little squiggle to say it's almost equal to um, phi over 2 and we that's pretty much so that's the uh, a Lucas spiral so just like the Fibonacci numbers and the Lucas numbers in arithmetic being connected they also draw this very lovely spiral which connects to um, so many other things and there just to highlight the spiral and as you go around it's it's quite a lovely thing so uh, the Lucas spiral bringing the 7 to 11 ratio and well the previous episode links in description drawing the Fibonacci spiral uh, which looks very similar but has very similar properties and again builds towards this approximation of phi and then I'll go into more detail um, how both the Lucas and the Fibonacci numbers uh, connect together especially through the pyramids and uh, ancient sites around the world.